Hi guys, this is Ira from Stape and uh, in this video I want to show how to set up uh, Klaviyo server-side tracking. Um, why I wanted to record this video is because uh, uh, we have uh, some cli several clients in uh, who like contacted our agency and uh, said that uh, uh, because of a new release of a Klaviyo uh, JavaScript, uh, it uh, like Clavio's JavaScript started uh, to slow down their website. So basically the new li library is uh, too heavy and uh, they are experiencing uh, some issues with uh, uh, like long time uh, to load their website. And uh, this is why the page speed decreased. And uh, that is why they want to start uh, tracking Clavio. Uh, on the server side and uh, yeah in this video I want to show how to set up Klaviyo event tracking and how to set up uh, active on site event in Klaviyo. Okay so uh, to start with uh, uh, setting up Klaviyo server side tracking you need to have a GTM server container set up and the second thing you need to have data inside the server uh, GTM. Uh, we already have videos and blog posts that uh, explains how to do that. So I won't focus on these two things in this video. Okay, so let's start with Clevio. Uh, the setup is uh, uh, like, you will do all the setup inside the server GTM. Um, so go, so the first thing that you will need to do is go to the templates and add a Clevio template from the uh, template gallery. Just click search gallery and here you will see this tag template. I won't edit since I already have it. this one added to my uh, server container. So click here tags add a tag name Uh, tag type Clavio and here uh, you will need to add a Clavio uh, APK. Uh, you will find it inside your Clavio account. Here uh, you need uh, to add email address. So basically email address is a required field because uh, Clavio will use this email address to match um, like actions uh, on the website to a user in your Clavio database. Uh, here I will set up uh, a purchase event and uh, I already have a purchase event uh, in my uh, server GTM. I will show you how to add a like purchase event and the user email address uh, to your server container a little bit later once I set up this tag. Uh, I highly recommend enable this uh, uh, checkbox. Uh, because it allows to store uh, like user email uh, in cookies and uh, basically let's uh, imagine the situation when I opened your website and I made a purchase uh, and on the purchase event you have an um, user email address uh, but after user closes uh, like the thank you page and the user is not logged in to your website you do not know the user email uh, with this checkbox enabled, you, you will be able to store uh, email address and cookies. And uh, it means that uh, the, like, the chances that you will have a uh, user email address is like higher because it will be stored in cookies. Okay, let's go further. So I will add a purchase uh, event. Um, okay, let's... The, like I will send also like a product name okay I uh, do not have a product name yet uh, let me add a test and then we will configure a product name um, okay this tag should trigger every time when um, a GA4 uh, client is claimed and the event name is purchase. Let, oh, let's, let me open the preview mode of the web and server container and um, I will show how it works.
continue okay so i will make a test purchase okay done uh, this is a web container uh, inside the web container i have a g4 tag uh, that works uh, like that sends enhanced e-commerce events. Let me show you how it looks in the web container. So uh, inside the web container, I have three GA4 tags. Uh, the first tag is configuration tag. It is required. And uh, like uh, you see here that I added a transport URL uh, to, uh, to the GA4 tag and uh, this tag is sending data to the server container i also have a page view event and they have this enhanced e-commerce event that uh, i used to send enhanced e-commerce data uh, so you can see here that i have events and um, i also send I'm, I'm also sending an email address uh, on the uh, purchase and um, yeah, let's go to the server container and see what we have here. So uh, this is the purchase event. It was claimed by a GA4 client. And you can see here that uh, Clavio purchase tag uh, succeeded. So everything works correctly. Let's go to the uh, events data. Events data, I have uh, like a, um, product details. And uh, these product details are located uh, here in items let me create a variable that will send an um, item name uh, to Clavio go to variables inside the server GTM items item name uh, okay let's test this variable i will Open the preview mode again. So this is our purchase and let's go to variables and see what we have. So yeah, here you will see a uh, like uh, the uh, variable that we recently created and it has the name of the uh, item. Let's go to tags and we can see here that Clavio uh, event purchase event triggered successfully and yeah we forgot to update a value for the product name let's go to the tags Okay, let's open the preview mode of the web and server container and uh, test uh, our setup. Okay, I'm placing a taste order. 
Let's check what we have inside the server GTM. Okay, so this is a purchase event and uh, let's show what, yeah, what we have. So uh, we have uh, an event with the name purchase and the product name, uh, this one that was sent to Clavio. Let me find this user profile in, in Clavio and check that uh, everything worked correctly. Okay, I will post it here. Okay, so this is uh, my uh, Clavio profile. And you can see here that we, like, uh, we tested a purchase event a couple of times. And um, we have two events where product name was test. And on the third event, uh, like product name was added correctly. Okay, so uh, purchase event was uh, set up successfully. Uh, let me show how to create an active on site uh, event. Uh, go back to the server GTM and create a new Clavio tag. Active on site, so Clavio, add your API key. Uh, add a, a user email. G4 email and uh, select here uh, type and uh, active on site and add a trigger to this tag. This tag should trigger on all page views. Let's click save. Mm, click preview and let's check what we have. Okay, I have uh, two uh, two server container preview mode at the moment. Let me okay, let me close everything and I will open again. Okay, so web container loaded and server container loaded as well. Inside the server preview mode, you can see that uh, we have a page view event here and the Clavio active on site event triggered. Uh, so let's go to the Clavio profile and uh, check uh, if, if everything worked. I will open, yeah, I have it here. So this is my Clever profile and if I click details so uh, you can see that the, the page uh, where active on site event was triggered and you can see that active on site was activated. Um, yeah so everything worked so we set up a purchase event uh, in Clavio using the server GTM and we created an active on site event and everything worked so thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, have a good day. Bye.